Badminton players Elisaveta Zarka and Maria Stolyarenko had their first experience competing in Indonesia in November 2021 as free citizens of Ukraine. Less than a year later, Lisa and Marsha, as they are called, returned to Indonesia as refugee athletes. Their athletic careers were interrupted by Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February. Maria's family evacuated to Poland while Lisa stayed in Kharkiv, one of the cities pounded by the Russian military. Their badminton activities came to a standstill until they decided to practice and compete in neighboring countries. After Poland, uh, uh, I first uh, go to France because I also play uh, in French Liga. And my French club uh, invite me um, to go to France and they help me to find a place for sleep, to find a place for practicing. And after I uh, text to Masha that she can also join me in France because if we want to continue our badminton career uh, like a pair, we need to, to practice together. 100% it's uh, very difficult to stay focused on court even when you play tournament, when you go to play on court. Sometimes you can lose your focus because you still... Um, you nervous and uh, um, afraid for your families. Determined to pursue their dreams, they flew to Asia with support from the World Badminton Federation and Asian Federations. Our federation decided uh, to organize uh, like uh, our participation in uh, Asian leg of tournaments in the summer and they booked only one way ticket for us to Asia. Good thing that they uh, show us uh, good support. And uh, also from our side, we uh, take a lot of experience from this uh, time. Yes. Because uh, Asian culture and uh, also Asian level of badminton, it's really different compared to European. They are also getting support from other athletes. Competing at the Indonesia Open in June, they had more than one mission in mind. It's an uh, amazing feeling to play in the Stara Stadium with full of spectators. Even and in <laughs> first day, in first yeah. round, it's amazing. So we are thankful for this opportunity, not only for play badminton in the so high-level tournaments uh, here in Indonesia, but also uh, for representing our country in these difficult times. We want that uh, people around the world uh, don't forget about situation and uh, continue to support uh, Ukraine for in this war because we just want to save our country and to save our freedom.